In this video, we're going to tell you about the TouchMix 30 Pro's real-time analyzers, how they work, and what you can do with them. Let's start by talking about what a real-time analyzer, or RTA, is. An audio real-time analyzer breaks the audio spectrum into frequency bands. One-third octave bands are most typical, and that's what you'll find in the TouchMix 30 Pro. The RTA displays the amplitude of the signal in each frequency band so that you can see in real time what the distribution of energy looks like. And of course, having an RTA display looks really cool at the mix position. The TouchMix 30 Pro has two onboard real-time analyzers. One of these RTAs is available on any input or output EQ screen. Simply navigate to a channel's EQ tab and touch the RTA on button. When you do, you will see a display of the selected channel's audio spectrum. The second RTA can be displayed using the RTA button on the right side of the touchscreen. This RTA offers options for source selection. You can select the main left-right signal, the signal from any auxiliary mix, the follow cue, which will display whatever you have selected in the cue bus, or the talkback microphone input. By selecting the talkback input for the source, you can actually look at an RTA display of the sound in the room using a microphone that's plugged into the mixer's talkback input. You could view both RTAs at the same time by connecting a tablet device to your touch mix. You could have this second screen available at the mixer, or you could take it with you as you ring out the system. So, how can you use the RTA? Well, first, use the RTA and your ears together. Don't rely entirely on the RTA display. There's no right way that an RTA display should look. The RTA can help you identify where a tonal imbalance or feedback ring is located on the frequency spectrum, but it's not a substitute for ears and good audio judgments. Now that said, here are some examples of how to use the RTA. The input channel RTA is useful for working on a tone for a single source. Now let's say you're doing a sound check and an input, let's say for example a bass guitar, isn't quite sounding right. It's kind of boxy and you're not sure what to do about it. So you watch the RTA while the bass player is playing and you see that the 250 hertz band is sticking out above the other bands. If it sticks out the most when you're hearing the offending sound the most, that tells you that the problem is likely somewhere around 250 hertz. Now you know where to start pulling down the channel EQ. Here's another way to use the TouchMix 30 Pro's RTAs. Let's say that you've set up your system and it sounded great when you played a reference track. Even the individual input sounded fine during sound check. But when you pull up all the faders and listen to the whole mix, not so much. There's just too much of certain frequencies in the mix. What's happened is that multiple channels are adding together in an undesirable manner. Well, the RTAs can help you find and fix that problem. Start by using the output RTA to identify where this tonal imbalance is. Once you've done that, you could just adjust the output graphic EQ to get the balance you want, but a better choice might be to find the individual channels that are contributing to this imbalance. Let's say that the mix sounds a bit hubby, and the output RTA is indicating too much energy on the low end. Note the frequencies that are overbalanced. Now, go to the inputs and look for sources with a bit too much of these frequencies. Maybe all you need to do is roll a bit of low end off of the bass and guitar channels to clean up the whole mix. Just remember, an instrument that sounds great on its own may not blend well with other instruments. A skilled engineer knows how to make all the instruments sit in the mix. Your RTA can help you find frequency overlap problems and get your mix dialed in. Once you've got your instruments balanced, you can still use the RTA to identify any tonal imbalances in the aux mixes. Let's say that one of your performers is complaining about a tubby sounding stage monitor. Just select the performer's output and look at what you're sending to his wedge. Looking at his signal, you see that, yes, there's an ample low end there and you can take some out without making the mix sound too thin. Or, maybe the RTA display indicates that this monitor mix is fairly well balanced. That could be a hint that there's something wrong with the stage monitor itself, like a blown high frequency driver or an improperly adjusted processor. So the RTA can serve as a troubleshooting tool as well. The TouchMix 30 Pro has a powerful anti-feedback system, which we cover in another video. But if you prefer to handle feedback using the mixer's one-third octave EQ, then the RTA can help identify which EQ bands to cut. Now, 
you might find yourself tempted to try balancing the system with just a noise generator, a microphone, and the RTA. This isn't recommended because if all you do is adjust the output graphic EQ sliders until the RTA shows a flat response, the results with actual instruments will probably not be what you had in mind. It may look right on the screen now, but remember your goal is to achieve a tonal balance with the real signal, and ultimately your ears will still be your guide on the mix. The real-time analyzers. Just one more way that the QSC TouchMix 30 goes beyond mixing to help you get great results fast.